Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to IRC. Today, the topic we will be discussing is Salah, how to pray Islam, Islamic research community. First step is known as ablution or to find a clean place so you can pray there. Ablution is cleaning yourself from bad things. Uh, we have given a file in the description below about how to do ablution and how to do wudu. Your clothes must be clean and you yourself must be clean. Also, see what is the direction of Kaaba from your house. So you will have to pray and uh, pray Salah at that direction. The second step is standing for the prayer. Stand for the prayer and then you say Allahu Akbar and you raise your hand towards your ears and your thumb must be behind your ears this is the first posture it is the starting of salah the second posture is for standing and reciting it is known as qayam the first thing as mentioned here subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika wa tabara Kasmuka, Wata Ala Jadduka, Wala Ilaha Gairuk. It means, O oh Allah, glorified, praiseworthy, and blessed is thy name and exalted thy majesty. When you stand in Qayyam, your hand, like uh, shown in this picture, your right hand must be on your left hand. Then, when you have recited Subhanaka Allahumma, you say A'uzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Not to worry about the Arabic part. I have given the I have given a file in the description to uh, of the Arabic part. It is written in English with good pronunciation, so you can read it easily. In the Qayyam. You need to cite Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Nabudu Wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Lazina An-Amta Alayhim Ghayr Al-Maghzubi Alayhim Walad-Dalleen Ameen After this any surah can be recited. We will be sharing four surah, that is Surah Ikhlas, Surah Nas, Surah Falak, and Surah Qasr. They are easiest and easy to recite. And the second step is Ruku. Ruku, going in Ruku. Ruku means to kneel, bend down at waist, Placing palms of hands with fingers spread over knees. Back is parallel to ground. Such that if a glass of water were on the back, it would not spill. Eyes looking down directly ahead. On the feet, it should, uh, it should be seen. On the feet, you should be looking at your feet. And when you are bending down, you must say, Allahu Akbar. For every posture you make, there must be said Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, which means glory to Allah. Then say three times when you are at Ruku, say Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Three times Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al Azim. Then Again, when you stand up, you say Allahu Akbar. Then you say Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. You say Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. And following it, say Rabbana Lakal Hamd. You say Rabbana Lakal Hamd. You say Rabbana Lakalham. Then you again say Allahu Akbar. 
and move on to the next posture that is known as sajda go down to a kneeling position by placing both hand on knees lowering oneself slowly and easily onto knees then touch the head upon the ground so that the following seven body parts are in contact forehead two palms two knees toes of both feet in this you must recite subhana rabbi yal ala in three times you must be reciting this three times subhana rabbi yal ala subhana rabbi yal ala subhana rabbi yal ala then you say allahu akbar then you move on to the next posture this is known as tashahud tashahud sitting down in uh, then you again say allahu akbar and then go again in the sajda position you repeat the sajda position again and then you again recite subhana rabbiyal ala subhana rabbiyal ala subhana rabbiyal ala three times always remember for every posture you are going to make first you have to say allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar not uh, three times but one time for every posture you are going to change you must recite allahu akbar then ud it means where you uh, recite attahiyat it is easy in this you must say attahiyatu lillahi was salawatu wa tayyibatu assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiy wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi his salihin ashhadu alla so you raise your right finger to the uh, into the air when you say ashhadu alla ilaha ashhadu alla ilaha illa allah when you say illa allah you bring down your finger to from the air down towards your knees then you say wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu as now you can say now you have to recite allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid then again you recite another allahumma barik ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid then you recite rabbi ja'alni we will also send it in the description with all of the uh, all of this in a word uh, document do not worry arabic is not uh, that much hard you can read it in english in english i mean that uh, i will write the arabic text in the english pronunciation so you can read it easily so you have to say rabbi ja'alni muqim as-salati ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولوالدي وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب and then when you are turning to the question 9 there is no need to say allahu akbar you just say assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah like you salam someone like you greet uh, a muslim saying assalamu alaikum you same way you say assalamu alaikum rahmatullah turning your head to your right shoulder 
and then again saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah turning your head to the left shoulder do not worry it is easy and we are going to send uh, some word document in the description and we have given that and inshallah you will learn from it inshallah inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and help you all who are new muslims who are new to the faith and show them the right path assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh